All right, guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. So yeah, it is time to go ahead and give you a follow up on the Pixel 8 Pro. And I've actually been using this device every day along with the other two. Like I bought the smaller variant and then also bought another Obsidian version and this bigger version, which is the Pro version. So I'm recording with the Galaxy S23 Ultra this time around because I might want to reference those devices. Not sure yet. So decided to not use them to record, but we will continue our journey with recording a Pixel with a Pixel in another video. So Google actually sent this over to me along with this beautiful bay watch to match i don't have the buds i've been trying to get them they go out of stock when they're discounted and come back in stock when they're not discounted so i'm waiting for them to hit that all-time low again of 120 uh, and then i'll probably pick them up so what i'm going to do is going to go ahead and talk about owning this device uh, and using it uh and and let me just go ahead and bring in let me just go ahead and bring this in right now because I'm, I'm pretty sure i might reference uh reference this so i don't want to have to keep taking them in and out of view so let's just let's just do it like this yeah let's just do it like that so obviously this is the eight and this is the eight pro and the obsidian and again this beautiful bay was sent over by google team pixel where you at stand up in the comments can't wait to talk to you so let's start with what we love the most about the the pixel 8 pro and the pixel 8 which is the hardware now they've done us justice by actually changing this hardware up and rounding off the corners uh, they've they've done right by consumers i gotta tell you this is impressive hardware for a large device large devices need to have like this rounded corners like this they they just they need to have it it's just it's something that makes the device whole it makes it more user friendly and it makes people want to buy bigger devices because nowadays people like bigger devices and this device is no exception. This is a very large 6.7 inch super octqua display, as they put it. Uh, basically, it's a very high res display that's going to be very beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and fire up a video or something here. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's fire this one up here. And we'll get in here. This is an HDR video, so we'll crank the brightness way up. Uh, this this display it's only playing at 720p and you know it is it is just it's a phenomenal thing i record this video and i record videos in hdr sometimes um let's crank the volume up real briefly i'm at almost two thousand miles believe it or not man i'm at almost two thousand miles and super happy to be able to so yeah the device itself is absolutely stunning on the display this display is one of the best and one of the brightest displays that you'll get. I believe this is 2400 nits peak brightness. Now, it's going to be in like direct sunlight. It's going to boost itself up as high as possible so you can get the best viewing angles and to be able to see the content on your display. How well does it work in real world? Uh, it's pretty good. I don't have a problem with outdoor viewing and direct sunlight, but I try to avoid direct sunlight. No one wants to view their device in direct sunlight. I don't know anybody who does that intentionally, uh, but if we go ahead and just lower the, the, the brightness down a little bit, you can really get a, a sense of just how great this display is. It is beautiful. Over video, you'll never be able to see how good it is, really. You have to see it in person. Uh, and it is just that good. So uh, the, the volume on here is good. The display is is phenomenal. And it's coupled with this beautiful hardware, which is which is on point. So you have this new camera bar on here now. And I say new because they've just kind of joined the cameras. It used to be individualized, a single one separate on the previous generation. Uh, but now they're kind of joined it together. And again, these new colors that they brought out are very eclectic and very eye catching. And they're, they're going to make you want to get this blue version just because blue is a very nice color. Uh, so. Aside from that, there is no headphone jack. I really wish there was a headphone jack, but the stereo speakers on here are pretty good. Uh, no problems whatsoever with that. Now, it does have a polished aluminum frame, and I, you know that is something that I'm, you know, I'm not really a fan of the polished look like this. I prefer this right here, the more matte feel. But it does have the matte back, and it's, it is that way on both. Uh, on all the uh, the bigger versions you get a matte back regardless and then you get this polished aluminum frame which is something that a lot of people probably enjoy and i really like it so internally this is running the g3 and the g3 uh is something that i think a lot of people um you you might say you don't see too much difference in this uh in performance i don't personally see that much difference but i do see um myself you know with my daily tasks 
them working just like any other device, you know, for social media. Really, that's all I do with these is social media and, you know, some uh, content or oh, lots of content creation. I've been doing a lot of content creation with these devices. I've been really using them to record. Only one I have not used to record with is the eight. And I'm going to take that one on the car channel soon and do some recording there and on this channel as I continue that record a pixel with a pixel. So yeah, the, the performance on here is what you think it is. It's, it's social media is where a lot of people live. You know, we're all recording. We're all posting everything online, whether it's good or bad. And, you know, it, it, it you need if you're going to do it, you need a device that's going to be good. So why not use this one? And so having 12 gigs of RAM with the G3 chip is something to be desired uh, by other devices. But Google gave it to you. So this this does have um the ability it has other safety features and things like that and, and you know google assistant i love all the f the features of ai but it does have uh seven years of updates if that's if you're into that personally those things don't really impress me because i don't know the last time i kept a cell phone for seven years if i'm being honest i just don't uh, and i don't think a lot of people will there's and i say a lot of people quote there are people that keep their devices for a very long time but there are more people that don't there are people in the we're in the age now where you can trade in your device every year and get the next best thing as long as you're willing to take a loss on what you paid because you're ultimately doing that you're taking a huge loss on the product that you purchased so let's just say this device then the, the google pixel 8 uh, 9 pro comes out next year if they do something like that this device won't be you won't get what you paid for it, obviously. Now, starting speaking of price, these start at $9.99. And that's something that I'm still kind of like, we don't we don't need that. We we don't need a starting price of $9.99 with 128 gigs of storage. That's just a slap in the face at this point. This really should be $256. And then for 1059 512 and for 1180 one terabyte this is where google can really capitalize on the market and pull people in with pricing starting at 256 gig storage should have been the way period there is no reason why we're still doing 128 gigs of storage on devices and let me show you why now i've been going into this device and i've been deleting a lot of the content as i go through so i'm recording a lot of stuff with this and you see i only have uh just over just under five gigs of video but that's because i keep going in i record with it and i get my footage off and i edit do whatever i need to do and i delete it from the device but 120 if i wasn't doing that and when i didn't do that i was way up into the 90 plus gigs used so, I mean, 128 gigs is kind of like, meh. And then also the system uses 15 gigs. There are other devices out there that use two gigs of storage for the system files and their stock Android devices. You know, so Google's AI engine and they're, they're all their learning and all that stuff. That's that's what's taking so long Um or, or excuse me, so much time. I was looking at the battery. I was going to move the battery next. Um, that's what's taking up so much storage on these devices is the system. 15 gigs right out the gate. You know, and you're using a 15 gigs of your 128 gigs of storage and you start to add on your other apps. One in 28 is just not good for $9.99, period. And then start speaking of pricing, now that this device, the eight starts at a higher price. This is... A device that starts at a much higher price uh, than before this starts at a much higher price than before um, you, you we've got to do something about the pricing on this one because this is a $300 difference and I, I really believe <laughs> that okay so it's okay to me if the 8 starts at 128 but then give it a 512 gig option don't give it just two options but the pro model should have a terabyte version on every color. That's another thing I wanted to address. Why is it just on the Obsidian? There's just there's, there's no reason for that. There's no reason for it. None whatsoever. There's no reason why the Obsidian is the only one that gets the terabyte option. If you go to Google's website and you click on the Obsidian, you'll see the terabyte hub, uh, uh, um, highlight and it's 1400 bucks. Okay. Yeah. Just, I don't understand why they do that. 
There's really no reason for it. But nonetheless, the pricing on here for 128 gigs of, of storage, I've got phones that have 512 gigs of RAM, or excuse me, 512 gigs of storage, and they start at 800 bucks. So since this is Google, they're going to remain profitable. Okay, Google, start this. Ooh, oh, shoot. <laughs> Stop. Start this phone with 120 gigs of storage at 899. Can we do that next year? If you just have to keep 128 gigs of storage, make it uh, stop, stop. Make it um, make it a, a situation where people might say, okay, you know, I can compromise with 128. Give them something to work with because uh, charging 9.99 for 128 gigs is a joke at this point. No, nonetheless, um, yeah, I disagree with the pricing versus the storage options. I just disagree with that. I don't think it's a good look. So obviously cameras, uh, or no battery, let's go to battery. Um, you saw in my in my uh, settings there how long this phone is lasting me on battery. Now, the reason you see that long dip there is because I didn't pick this up for two days or so. Yeah, I think it was about, I think it was a couple days since I picked it up because I was carrying both of these. I've been rotating the phone number with this one, but I regularly carry these two. These are my two. These both have phone numbers in them. Yeah, these both have phone numbers and they are working for me. I need them. <laughs> so these both have phone numbers. You can see the signal there on both. See the cell phone signal on both? Yeah. This is on one network and this is on a different network. So this is on my US mobile account and this is on my Google Fi account. So this one right here, every now and then I'll definitely pull out the SIM card and put it into this one and start using it here. So, you know, I, I feel like this is a good way to train your battery if you want to do that to see your real standby time. But this one was sitting at 100%. Uh, and for quite some time, the standby time is phenomenal. Now, the battery life on these two are a, a lot different. They're no, <laughs> they're not getting three to three to four days, five days. They're getting uh, a little bit less. Even this one is giving, even though I'm regularly using this one, it shows two days left on that 67, but I won't get that. I'll get, it says two days and 11 hours, but I might get another day and a half out of that. But that's pretty good because I've been using it. I charged it uh, yesterday afternoon. So I'm already on a day down. And, you know, the reason the battery is pretty good on these is because I'm carrying three phones. Remember, I have my iPhone that has a phone number as well. So... That's why the battery life is pretty decent on both of those. Uh, but overall, using this regularly without touching my iPhone or this one, this eight has the best battery of them all. I easily go two days on this one with no problem into the third day, sometimes into the fourth day. And that's what about four hours of screen on time for those who want to measure the screen on time. The eight here, some of you guys might be able to do that on your eight pro, but I'm able to do it on this one right here. Um, I can go easily three to four days with about four hours of screen on time. And to me, that's great because I use predominantly the screens off because I'm making phone calls. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing with it. So, um, that's why my battery life is really good on this one. And the battery life is great on this one as well. Just not three days. Great. Uh, maybe two days or so with about five and a half hours of screen on time. That's solid. But you start to factor in that price again. You start to ask yourself, man, I can do that on this phone, this, this, this phone. And it doesn't cost that much. You see? So nonetheless, battery life on these, I would say the average person can probably easily grab 24 hours and, and into the next day and possibly make it through a day over almost two days with with maybe, you know, 10 percent to 15 percent left. That That's the way I, I might view that. So battery life, though, also depends on you. You can see how many apps I have on here. I don't have that many. I might have <clears throat> excuse me. I might have um, maybe 114 apps total. You know, what I mean, maybe 115 total. Um, that's including the system files. So, yeah, you you. Only, I only put the apps on my phones that I'm actually going to use. They they have to be some use of to me, use to me, or it's, it's no good. It's just idle, and you know, got to get rid of it. So, yeah, battery life definitely depends on the user. But I can confirm, Google says on their website, 24 hours of battery life or more, and they're not lying. They're not lying. You can easily get 24 hours out of this phone, uh, no matter who you are. I think. Uh, you will be able to get 24, 24 um, hours of battery life out of this. I can stand firm on that at this point. Just because I'm getting a little bit more. I'm, I just told you how I'm getting a little bit more. Uh, but 
again, I don't have a bunch of some people. This is their only phone. And so they all of their stuff is on here. They're keeping all their photos on here. They're keeping all their everything is on their device and they use this regularly. That's just what it is. So, yeah, performance, battery. Uh, now, let's check out the, the, the cameras are. Let me let me let me see if I can find some things that I've recorded lately uh, with this here. Let's go in here. I've been taking a lot of photos. Let me see here. Let me find a video I've recorded lately. What's the last video that I did with this? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, because remember, I've been deleting them. Uh, but here's a video that I've done. Uh, this is just freaking beautiful, man. Cameras on here are what you think they are. But this time around, I've said it in a lot of other videos, Google did right by us, man, with these freaking cameras. Finally, finally, they did right by us. They freaking did right by us. They have some of the best video in the game. They're doing it. This finally pixels are in the game when it comes to video. They were they were always there for photos, but video. Nah, it was it was inconsistent. Like to me, the Pixel 4 XL and the Pixel 4 had phenomenal video. And then you get to some of the other ones and they're just like, man, start having heating issues and everybody's complaining about their phones cutting off. And let me talk about that real quick. I have not had either one of these pixels cut off on video and I've because I've been using them to record other things. And I've, I was letting you know, hey, look, recording with a pixel, blah, blah, blah. 30 minutes easily down with this one with no problems with either one. of the, I haven't used this one yet, but these two 30 minutes easily. No problems whatsoever. None. I can go easily 30 minutes. Now, the device only gets a little warm. So that means that the Tensor uh, G3 chip is doing its thing. It is doing its thing. And I, I just don't have any complaints anymore about the Pixel. It seems like my complaints now are getting more on the side of, hey, why are you still giving us 128 gigs of storage? Why is the price this? Because after that, folks, um, there are some people that say that they don't. I know I'll talk about that at the end of the video, the, the issues. But yeah, in, in the video, we're done talking about this. The Pixel has proven itself. It has proven itself. And the quality that comes from these freaking phones now, it's just silly. It's silly how good these phones are, man. So with that being said, there are issues. There are issues out there for some people. Now, personally, I'm not having any heating issues. My battery life is great. All of the above. I just don't have any issues with it. Some complaints here and now, again, like I just said about the price and the storage. But when I think about it now, as I'm talking to you three weeks, almost a month later, I really don't have any issues with this with this this phone. I really don't. It's, it's incredible. They finally knocked it out the park. I mean, like smartphone on a year knocked it out the park. They did great. But there are people out there with heating issues, battery issues. And I think those are the only two that I've actually heard of. But if you know of some issues or you're having an issue, um, you know, let's talk about it. I mean, have you been on? Have you contacted Google? Because I believe this. If you get a device and you're within your two week return period, just exchange it. Th that's that's what I have to. That's what I would do. I don't feel the need to keep making a video about the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. Just return it. Freaking exchange it. Clearly something is wrong. But if you're having battery woes, factory reset still doesn't fix it. Exchange it because there are more people that don't have a battery issue. You know what I mean, the heating issues with the camera. Well, I'm not having those issues. I'm not having my phones cut off on me while I'm recording. And I live in an area where it's scorching hot most of the time. But nonetheless, if you're having an issue, there's a way to resolve it. Exchange warranty and if you're outside of your exchange time period google will give you a warranty exchange there's just a way to fix it you know we can create a narrative if we want to but the fact of the matter is you have options i'm only going to complain so long now, i have made videos ranting and stuff like that and talking about how companies have failed us and things like that but i'm also trying to give you a resolution <laughs> i don't just want to be a part of the problem i want to help fix the problem so only way i can do that is to get these man-made products back to the source and send me a new one son that's what that's all i'm looking for it's your man jay hope you guys enjoyed nearly a month with with the pixel uh 8 pro believe it or not these two had them for about a month 
Uh, and this one, I think I'm going on a couple of weeks or a week or two. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to continue this train. The Pixel 8 Pro is actually a top tier device. No ifs, ands, or buts. It doesn't matter if you think, oh, it doesn't compete with this device. It doesn't compete with this device. Everybody's got their favorites. Like I'm recording with, with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This device is in a league where it can be considered phone of the year. Yeah. We can't take anything away from it. But there are plenty of other devices that have hit the market that are just as great. And these being being two of them. Oh. It's your man, Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed. Which version of the Pixel 8 do you have? Do you have any problems with yours? And isn't it a great device? Isn't it just a hit? I'll see you in the next video. Take care.